Make some noise if you can solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh my god! Hey YouTube, it's July 17th, so you know what that means. Concert day. I'm so excited for later today. I flew into Minneapolis yesterday and I went to a Cuban competition that was happening yesterday at the Mall of America uh, and handed out a bunch of flyers. Here's a clip from that. Oh! <laughs> I'm good, how's it going? <laughs> and I woke up today super hyped for the concert. It's gonna start tonight at seven, but we're gonna load into the venue around four. And before that, I still have some other prep stuff I gotta do. So I'll be vlogging through all that. I'm doing 19 songs tonight. It's it's just me. It's my first solo concert, no openers, nothing like that even. So I'm kind of nervous, but mostly just really excited. Also, as you might know, I use live autotune a lot. And this morning, <laughs> this was really funny. I went on my phone and the first thing I see is, your autotune subscription has expired. And I'm like, w today? The day I need live autotune, the subscription expired? Turns out, it's fine though. I bought my autotune subscription a year ago today, apparently, but I didn't actually register and activate it until September last year when I was like getting my home studio set up. So I don't need to renew it or anything, and autotune should still be active. But that was kind of scary <laughs> to see first thing in the morning on concert day. Currently charging up my computer, which is gonna be running autotune and my old, old phone, which is gonna be running my instrumentals. Does anybody know how to close this ironing board? He and opened it before, and uh, she couldn't figure out how to close it. I doubt I could, but we'll see. In about 10 minutes, I'm gonna find out my ticket sales number from yesterday. So, so far I've sold 53 tickets to the show, which is mind blowing. It was, a, it was a really slow burn for quite a while early on, but I talked to a lot of people yesterday who said they were gonna buy tickets or get them at the door. So I think I have a pretty clear path to selling at least 60 tickets total, and I get ticket sales updates from the day before every morning. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna find out how many tickets I actually sold yesterday. Okay, let's find out how many tickets we sold yesterday. Seven. Yo, we hit 60. That's crazy. Yo, that's my uh, PB for most tickets sold in a day. That's so crazy. Seven tickets in one day. 60, we did it. <laughs> and they're still today. People can still buy at the door. I know some people are planning to, so seems like we're probably gonna have 60 something people there. Maybe even 70, maybe 80. Maybe a thousand? No, it can't fit a thousand. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm I'm feeling great. <laughs> and yes, that 585 remaining does mean that the venue can hold like 600 people. Um, I had no intentions of selling out this venue. <laughs> it's pretty big, but I like that there will be some room in the back for uh, the videographers. And also if people just don't want to be right up front, right near the stage, they have some places they can go and chill for a little while. Hey, Ian. So as of yesterday, we were up to 53 tickets. Guess how many we've sold now? 10. 10? We, oh, sorry, we'd sold 10. So we're at 63. That's optimistic. 60! <laughs> <laughs> still good. That's still pretty close. I wanna hug you. This is so exciting. Okay, yeah. Just saw this post in uh, the Cubing Facebook group, Cubix Friends. And uh, now this makes me really happy. This comment's super nice. Really, really hyped for the concert. I uh, love seeing stuff like this. And now I'm actually starting to feel the nerves a little bit because I'm realizing that people are hyped for it. Ah! Time to get in a lift. <laughs> Not going to the venue yet. Going near the venue because there's a vegetarian slash vegan restaurant within walking distance from the venue. This is perfect for me. I'm so excited. Lunch. Lunch. My shoes keep untying. I'm gonna tie them real tight before I go on stage. Got some falafel, all vegan, pretty good. Ian got something else, not all vegan, but all vegetarian. A, a breakfast, wait no, a buttermilk platter. Other, nice. Wait no, biscuit platter. Other here's some biscuits, biscuits and gravies. Oh cool, yeah. enjoy, let's eat. Where are we going? We're going to the theater. Yeah, we're also going to a book arts club. No, it's the Minnesota store. Center for Book Arts. Center, that's the word. It's my favorite place on earth. So excited. So first we're gonna go to the Cedar and get a look at the sign that has my name on it. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the Book Art Center and find the sign with your name on it. No, but good idea. There's the Cedar. And I'm guessing on the other side of the sign is where you can see my name, because these are shows after today that it's showing. There it is. That's so cool. And my poster's there too in the window. I don't know if you can see which one. I'll circle it on screen right now. 
And up there, that's me. They're putting up some DG posters right now. They don't know I'm filming them right now, but that that is certainly me. There's some leaves in the way, but that's me. We just met the people and they're super nice. They're so um, kind. It's 2 p.m. right now, we're loading in at four, so we're gonna walk around the city. We're going to the Book Arts Center and uh, see what's up there. You tried. I tried my best. We'll see what's going on there. This is so cool. It took me a minute to realize that that shadow is painted on. That's not a real shadow. It's, uh, no, this is, this is too cool. Real man loves pigeon. Adam and I found a shirt one time online that says real man loves pigeon. And ever since then, I always think about that when I see these guys. But there's sparrows and some black birds as well. But you know what else there is? Pigeon. Had fun? Had so much fun. What was the best thing you saw? Um, um, there's so many things I like. Oh, there was a, a, a Dr. Seuss style book about where your data will go. Oh, yeah, instead of all oh, the places you'll go? Yeah. She's a data scientist, hence uh, <laughs> the appeal. <laughs> now we're walking back to the Hard Times Cafe, which is where we left our suitcase. We're gonna get the suitcase and then bring it to the Cedar Cultural Center, then sound check and uh, all that stuff. We're a little early, but I had to get some shots outside the venue of all these posters and me. <laughs> they got a bunch right here too. These are the doors. This is the green room. It's uh, a little more green than the last time I was in a green room. We got some green walls here. I guess kind of bluish green. There's a nice bathroom. There's a, a kettle for, for tea, which is gonna really help because uh, I need that for my voice. Um, but yeah, seems like a really cool vibe. Lots of people have, uh, have been here before, so cool to be here too. So sound check will be happening soon, but first we're just gonna get settled for a bit. They also got this, please sign two posters for the Cedars archives, thank you. Some DG posters here. So this is what the venue looks like. They're setting up my, uh, my mics up there. Um, these are some chairs, but we're not gonna be using these. And right now I'm setting up my laptop for the auto-tune. We got the interface right here. Some good news, they don't need to use my old, old phone for instrumentals because they have this software where they can just do the instrumentals more automatically, which is really nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about my old phone running out of charge. I always like to come prepared anyway, but venues seem to just have a way of making these things work. <laughs> the instrumentals set up here. The amount of famous people who have probably used this bathroom is staggering. I'm very excited. <laughs> Yo, I'm here with Clicky Studios. Clicky Studios. How's it going? How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. They're gonna be filming today. I'm so hyped. It's gonna look great. Wait. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah, this is fire. I love this. I'm here with Adam and Jenna. What's up? And this is the green room. I'm showing them for the first time. Pretty cool, eh? Where's the green? There's some, it's kind of blue-green over there. How you feeling about a uh, circle? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe? Maybe. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vlog can know that it's a consideration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a, I have no interest in being a performer. I have yeah. no interest in supporting Daniel and seeing him perform. Yeah. So we'll but he might, he might, if he's <laughs> feeling like it, he might come up on stage for Circle Circle Square Square. If not, I'll probably cut this part out of the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got all the lighting figured out for every song. And now I'm going to do a proper sound check, run through every song. Um, not the full song for everything, but just like parts of every song. Just to make sure that all the cues are right and everything. I'm, I'm really hyped, man. We're, we're, we're cutting it close. It's 6.30, people are gonna be in the room at seven. So I gotta go through, go through everything fast, but I'm excited. Doing some sound check right now, it's kind of crazy. Um, can we do intentional? Intentional. Yeah. I'm so intentional. I'm so intentional. Um, 
next song. So I just went through the whole set in about 10 minutes. <laughs> just spent like 30 seconds on every song or less even. It was crazy. Um, now I'm just chilling in the green room. We got Ian, we got Carter and William back there. And Adam and Jenna are gonna be hanging out here too. The show's supposed to start at 7.30, but I'm gonna purposefully run late a little bit because people know it's supposed to start at 7.30 and that means people are gonna arrive late. So I wanna make sure they don't miss it. So I'll probably start at like 7.45. It's about 7.10 now. I haven't eaten dinner. I should eat dinner, but honestly, maybe I'll just eat something after the show, TBH, at this point. I might just have a granola bar to hold me over. Um, and I'm also gonna have some throat coat tea on stage because I'm already feeling it in my throat, man. It's, it's intense, it's really intense. The people here are so nice too. Shout out the Cedar. If you're an artist and you're trying to do a show in Minneapolis, pull up to the Cedar. See, see if they can, uh, if they'll host you. Yo, we what's got Timmy. Man? Yo, how's it going? Really how's good. it going? I can't believe I'm in a DG vlog. Dude, it's crazy. Like, I've watched going, him man? since I was a kid. Oh man, no, I appreciate that. I'm lucky to have you here, man. I'm so hyped to see you at the show. Coming in top, I just said, hopping on the spot. Hey, it's all in the game. You yeah. can't be forgot. Hey. Just like my partner, yeah. like someone in the dark. Yeah. Number one record yeah. gave me that spark. Woo. I made me deep. No, I messed up. <laughs> so Timmy right. mentions ramen lube yeah. in his lyrics. I don't know what he means by that. We got the sweet Timmy ramen lube that makes your teeth smell like ramen. What? You turn better. No way. Oh, what? That does smell like ramen. <laughs> yeah, I gave my ramen lube to DG's group. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna eat it. Wow! <laughs> so we got one more feature tonight who's gonna be coming on stage partway through the show. Tommy Hello. Cherry. What's up everyone? Rubik's Cube blindfolded world record holder. Yes sir. Hyped the GOAT. Here. So hyped. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. So uh, how do you feel? Do you think you're gonna be able to solve cubes blinds while I rap at you? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little nervous, but I think overall it's gonna be super hype. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think a song is, should be enough time for me to get all the cubes in time. Hopefully. But yeah, we'll see. You know, yeah. anything could happen. Should be fun. I'm excited. I'm so nervous. It's like, I'm gonna go out in like 10 minutes. Show's gonna be so crazy. I'm just so nervous. I'm so nervous right now. Everyone's here. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, you know, you already know. I'm so excited. <laughs> the mic is live. It's hot. Oh my God. I'm currently in a spaceship. I'm actually in the green room. I'm freaking out. I'm going to be okay. It's going to be so fire. People are going to love it. So many people out there, man. I've been waiting for this for a minute. This is my, this, this is a dream come true right here. This is really it. This is what I've been wanting to do for so long. So happy it's finally happening. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Stuck in the No, I can never be basic. Oh my god, I'm in the spaceship. Yeah, oh my god, I'm in the spaceship. I think you stuck in amazing. I can go back to the basement. All of these people are faking. Ah, oh, yeah, all of these people are faking. Yeah. Woo! Let's go, Minneapolis! Make some noise if you can solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh my god! At work I exceed expectations. I might take four weeks of vacation. They say go to hell when they hate it. I just got my visa from Satan. Oh, hold up, sing it with me now. Drop five thousand on a boat. Hold up, that's five thousand on a boat. Let's go! Making a million out in New Jersey. Counting my fifties and throwing like thirty. Getting so litty. That's why I'm swerving. Get me a double cup, flow is so dirty. I better stop pouring. It's four in the morning, the flow is so hot. I just throw the warmer to stop the recording and take off your jacket and meet me in Paris whenever I'm touring. I've got me a Tesla that drives automatic, so when I'm in traffic, it never gets boring. I'm living extravagant, lavish. I'm rapping the Sabbath, attacking their vibes, or immaculate. I'm not a fool. That was quarter past nine. You still on AOL? Yeah, you ain't got drive. You still on MSN? That's a butterfly effect. I just stopped the Rolex, but I still ain't got the time. Okay, we do just. Me and the pro doing the most, doing the most. Me and me killing the toes, making a milli out in New Jersey, counting my fifties and throwing like thirty. Getting so lit, that's why I'm swerving. Give me a double cup, throw it so dirty. I better stop pouring. It's four in the morning, the flow is so hot. I just love the warmth. So stop the recording and take off your jacket and meet me in Paris whenever I'm touring. Woo! Thank you, everybody. Oh my God. Thank you so much, thank you so much. So, uh, as promised, I want to do something fun, cubing related here today. Put a hand up if you can solve a Rubik's Cube. Alright, alright. Keep it up if you average under 20 seconds. Okay. Keep it up if you average under 10 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> um, alright, alright, so, 
I average, I average like eight or nine, let's say nine, you know? So, so I feel like I want to race one of you who averages sub 10. Zach, Brant, come on, come on up here. You know what to do. You know what to do. We'll scramble for each other. Here, here. You'll scramble mine, I'll scramble yours. Three, two, one, go! Egg. So, as some of you may know, I uh, last year released an album called Ego Death. Yeah. First song on the album, you heard when I came out, Spaceship. It's one of my favorite songs. How you feel if we run that back one time? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open it up on the spaceship. Way up in the sky. On a spaceship. Yeah, oh my god, I'm in the spaceship. All of these fucking amazing. Oh, I can't go back to the basement. All of these people are faking. Oh, yeah, all of these people are faking. Yeah, okay, up in the air on a 20 hour flight. Life is a game and the game is my life. I might just call up Adam on my downtime. If you don't like the way I'm moving, step up on my outline. Sorry that you got offended, homie. This ain't that though. I ain't throwing shade, you're just being overshadowed. I said, oh, this is truth, ain't no metaphor. Your SAT is my credit score. I'm with the girl in my dreams, and I saw you last week with the girl that you settled for. I am a relic that came from the future, and sometimes I feel like I'm stuck here. I rap like a bullet when I'm on the stage, and they told me you can't have no guns here. Fire flows like lava. My bank account, a big pharma. I do not deal with greater this drama. I got a catalog, they got some karma. Yeah, so toxic is deadly. How they don't like me when I'm being friendly. All this green just making them envy. All this bread gum trying to bend me. There's a whole lot of fish who never even see the ocean. A whole lot of people who would think that that's a metaphor. The world's too real for metaphors I could have been a chicken in a factory The fact that people laugh at the analogy is sad to me And proof that they're not comfortable to think about it rationally As soon as we look back at all humanity's catastrophes It's actually just blasphemy Ignore the savagery when I put down the pen I'm living happily And maybe I'm a bystander naturally I sit and hope and never stand and see I get away scot-free It's a travesty, I said This one goes out to a very special person uh, who helped me set up the show tonight a lot and has just, in general, been an amazing life partner to me over the past four years. Um, this one goes out to Hean. Best girlfriend ever. Future wifey. You know how it is. This one's called Moonrise. This one's for you. Love you. Come watch the moon set together with me I spent a million dollars on a place we can see it And I lost my way and I'm trying to retrieve it And I saw your eyes at the center of Venus Man, I got regrets that the world is so hectic If I met the gods, I would have some suggestions Tell them, take yourself out the human perspective And just look around at what you manifested you know, that was some chill stuff, but I want to get back to the hype stuff. How are we feeling? We still, we still got the energy. Are any of you aware of uh, the biggest Cuban YouTuber, Soup Timmy? Okay, okay. So we talked a bit before the show, and he wrote a rap verse about cubing? I'm so nervous. I've never rapped. I literally wrote this rap like a couple weeks ago, and I just started practicing yesterday. You got this. <laughs> yeah. I 
I got distracted from my job I dropped three bands on a pitch that's wrong I write one verse and I think I'm hot I need more people to tell me I'm hot I got the difference at what cost I can't describe all the hours I lost And I thought, what if I did some songs that y'all have never heard before? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Type of ventilating got me feeling like I'm tripping and I'm on a mission and if I don't get it then there's something missing and I see existence from a distance I can never pin it and I'm in a pennant so if I ain't did it no one ever did it I'm so tripping like a car where I can put my feet up in it See it like the window sitting seated in my brain I hit a mental limit get a harder listen got me backing down and feeling timid man I need a minute in the album ego death and Julie Adams I've been tripping Never did it but this album only my rendition of the life I should be living and I'll get there for a minute at a time Writing is my therapy but sometimes it's my vice when I'm nice with it roll the dice with it they don't vibe with it Hold up, but the mic's different than the mic get it If it was a white skin and I would like skin with type shit Then I'd say I'm worth the hype shit I wanna feel the breeze Yeah, I wanna feel the breeze I want you to bring it in real close for this one Bring it in closer to this one Bring it in closer to this one Yeah What do you want? What do you need? I got it all, yeah What do you want? What do you need? I got it all So, uh, <laughs> he might. If he's feeling like it, he might come up on stage for Circle Circle Square Square. If not, I'll probably cut this part out of the vlog. <laughs> I just got a thumbs up that I've been really hoping for. This next song. Yeah! <laughs> this next song. This next song is called Circle Circle Square Square. This next song is a feature I dropped recently. Some of you may know Down Six, the rapper. Um, they've hit 20 syllables a second in a song before. This song I did with them, they didn't hit 20 syllables a second, but I'm still gonna try to do their fast part when it comes on. Man, I'm sad now. I only have one more song for y'all tonight. But uh, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, this one's called Skate. the show. This is going in the vlog, all of you. Yeah. That was the craziest experience I've ever had. That was so much fun. Thank you all for making that the best night. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I still haven't had dinner. <laughs> Me neither. I felt like I was going to throw up like 85 times on stage. But I'm... What? But I wasn't on stage. I was running sound. <laughs> she's a little weird. <laughs> no, it's not. She's great. That was the best show ever. So good. I'm so happy with how that went. Best crowd I tripped ever. a little bit in the beginning when I was going up on stage. You know why? Because of the cable got caught. It wasn't your fault. Carter stepped on the cable. Carter stepped on the cable? <laughs> Carter stepped on the cable gate. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hiccup over with immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. People loved him. Man. People loved him. That was so much fun. That was best night of my life so far. Tomorrow's gonna be even better because I'm doing Whoa. Mega Mix. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. You can say something. Uh... <laughs>